So once you've opened DaVinci Resolve, click on the New Project button at the bottom of the window, and I'll title this one Slow Motion Video, and then click Create. This will open up the DaVinci interface. Next thing we need to do is get the video that you just should have just downloaded into DaVinci. So I'll click on the Media tab on the bottom left. Click on the download folder where I put the bike video. So I just mouse over that. I can see that is the video I want. So I'll grab it and I'll drag it and I'll drop it into the media pool. And then I'll click the change button so it'll match the frame rate of our video. So next we'll click on the cut icon on the bottom just to the right of the media pool icon. Click there. We'll grab the bike from here and we'll drop it into the timeline down at the bottom. And then we can scroll here to look at the video. So what we want to do is scrub through the video and get the video just to the point, just as it's going over the jump. So I'll put it right here. I'll click on the Split Clips button and that splits the video clip here and then I'll scroll ahead and get to the landing right let me back up just a little bit right there and then I'll click the split video there so I'm going to select this jump video and edit copy and then I'm going to edit paste so it'll make a second copy of that jump now the next thing we want to do is change the speed. So if we right mouse click on this second clip, we're going to slow it down so it's easier to see the jumping. And if I go down here, there's the change speed button. And then it gives us the ability to change the speed up here. So I'm going to slow it down to 20%. And you can type that in, let's say 25%. So I'll put in 0.25 hit enter and you can see this becomes quite a bit longer so if we scroll back let's click the space bar and you can see it goes through there's the jump and then it cuts to the slow motion and then carries on so you get a nice effect one problem is that the transition here is not is not very smooth so I'm gonna click on the transitions button tab up here and I'm going to drag and drop across Dissolve. So let's go back and take a look at this. I'll hit the space bar to play. And then we get a nice transition. And then it carries on. So we get a nice, a nice effect there. So the next thing we do if to zoom in on the, uh, the slow motion video clip is we click on that clip. We click on the transform button here and then we'll zoom in by typing in 1.3 there and then hitting enter and then we can center the frame so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it so it's in the top corner like that I'll back up a bit I'll hit the space bar sort of play and you can see that it's zoomed in a little bit and then continues its speed one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag a cross dissolve into this video transition here. Let's see what that looks like now. Goes through, land, and it speeds up. So the next thing we're going to do is add a sound effect. Um, we do that by clicking on the edit tab on the bottom here. And then at the top left, there will be a sound library button up here. And then in the left window, um, if you haven't already done this, there will be a, a button that you can press to download the DaVinci Sound Library. This will take you a couple of minutes to do. I've already done it. So what I can do now is search for a sound. And I'm going to search for lawn mower. So I grab it and then I can drag it and drop it and I'll drop it exactly so it starts at the beginning of the jump. 
Next thing I'll need to do, I'll zoom out a little bit so I can see the end of the lawnmower, and I'm going to make this shorter. So I'll zoom in so I can get it so it ends. I'll grab that end and I'll make it so it ends right at the end of the slow motion part. The other thing I'm going to do, um, I'll get rid of the sound, the slow motion sound, and I do that by grabbing the line here and I'll drag it down to zero, uh, minus 100 decibels, which is basically making it so it doesn't make any sound. So if we go back here, I'll hit the space bar to hit play, and we'll see in the top right. A little bit of lawnmower sound. It's not very loud, so I'm going to grab that bar and move it up 12 decibels. Click play. There we go, a little bit of a lawnmower sound. I want it even louder than that. Try one more time. Lawnmower. Last thing I'm going to do is if I mouse over the lawnmower sound, if I grab that tap, I can move this back so it will fade out at the end. So if I go back here, we'll hear the lawnmower fade out. There we go. Uh, last thing you might want to do is export it, and you do that by clicking on the Cut tab, and then you can click on Quick Export. And I hope you've enjoyed this video.